Hello everyone and welcome to what I'm unprepping today. So this is one of the ways I have stored things in my pantry with these uh, large Tupperware Modular Mate rectangulars and I love them but I don't use them for food anymore. There was a time when all the kids were home that I used these for everything. I would have this filled with macaroni, I would have the half-sized ones uh, filled with flour and sugar, and I just don't use that much stuff anymore. So now I like to just um, store in uh, ball jars. I mean, also because I prefer glass, but I don't use as much as I used to. So this is in a, you know, the half gallon sized, and then behind there, I've got uh, some quart sized wide mouth jars. I just don't use a lot of that anymore. And then, uh, you know, I have some jars up there. And I don't even buy real sugar anymore. Uh, I don't bake anymore. So there's a lot of things I, I just, you know, your life, like your preps, has to be adaptable to what you do. But I used to eat these a lot, these uh, pure organic ancient grain bars. So I stocked up on them. And of course, um, then I stopped eating carbs, but I still had these. And I shared quite a bit of them with uh, my kids and they kind of got tired of them as well. So I took one out the other day and tried it and they're just not very tasty anymore. And I really should have thought about that before I stored so many because these are fresh with no preservatives. They're quinoa, amaranth and flax in there. And then they have all natural ingredients. The ingredients list was really small. Now, although they are, I mean, you can barely see that. I can't read it. I can through the camera. But uh, they are stored in mylar themselves. However, they're not airtight, right? So maybe had I stored them in mylar with an oxygen absorber, they would have lasted longer. Uh, now, no hate here, but uh, the dogs like them. <laughs> But of course, I don't give the dogs chocolate. So the peanut butter and chocolate bars have um, chocolate in them. And I don't like giving the dogs grains, but I do because they like these. And so I give them maybe once a week, I've been giving them a raspberry one. The two big dogs will split it and I don't give any to the little Maltese at all. But these I just um, am opening and they're just going to go in the compost because uh, I've also broken some up and put them on top of an old tree stump for whatever wildlife likes them. Uh, the birds, I've seen them pecking at them, but I don't know if they're able to get through that. But uh, so this, I guess, video is also just to remind everybody of the importance of rotating your preps. Eat what you store. Store what you eat. So... That's about it. Uh, I should have rotated through these more, but I kind of quit eating them. They weren't designed to last a long time. So there was a lot of little failures on my part. And I just, uh, before I went through and unwrapped all of these, I just wanted to tell you and show you <laughs> what I'm gonna spend the next hour doing. I guess a lot of people would just throw them all away, just dump that in the trash and be done with it. But I kind of try to keep things out of landfill. And seriously, then if I put that in my trash, is a bear going to go into my trash? You should see my sister's videos of her, her house. I mean, a bear comes almost nightly and tries to rip through her trash. She's trying to find ways to uh, lock it up from the bear. But uh, so I don't, I don't put food wastes in there either. So if I was disposing of food waste that wasn't going into the compost pile, I would actually burn it in the wood burner so that it doesn't attract any wildlife. Alrighty guys, let me know if you've had any recent or not so recent uh, little failures or if my video helped you to, you know, just ring a bell in your head that you need to go check something in your preps and uh, let me know what did you prep today. Be blessed everyone.